welcome in this video i take you to perungotu kavu bhagavathi temple situated in elevancheri near kollangod palakkad it is situated 500 meters from the highway behind us we are approaching it from the thrissur side on the other side you can go to kollangod to the right state highway 500 meters from the nemmara highway inside we are now going to Perungotukau It is located near Kollangod in the Western Ghats Ganapati The Maram Arthile Alamaram Iza Iza right side of the office We are entering the premises of Perungo to Kau. The building to the right is the office. To the left is a parking space. So this is the office. This is a people tree in the parking space. Below is a Vinayaga temple. situated in the western guards i have come to visit perungo to kau our family dt in a nemmara in palgad district i'm standing inside the temple premises the reigning god is uh, bhagavadi amman kali is uh, she is a daughter of shiva born from the dark hair of uh, shiva uh, the story of bhagavadi amman uh, at perungo to kau is uh, quite famous over the years it seems that the zamoran had a desire to see the goddess and he prayed to her he made a severe penance and she assured him that uh, she would grant him full darshan if he followed her without uttering a word the zamoran dutifully did so and during his quest he could see parts of her her toes her anklets he could hear her anklets uh, and uh, then he bore he bore it out and finally he was rewarded with the uh, complete darshan of bhagavati at this place and that is how he this temple came into being several years back that's the story of perungo to kau uh, it, it is situated in uh, uh, in the nemmara one can reach it from kollangod on this side and from the national highway from trishur on the other side we came from uh, trishur in the morning and then second time we approached it from palakkad via kollangod and we are here now we are going to conduct a nirmala puja for the evening and also will be doing archanas there are always some functions going on here throughout the year and the important one is in january uh, where they have the vilakku and uh, you if you want uh, you can come here at that time the hours of opening are from 5:30 in the morning to 9:30 in the morning and evening it opens at 5:30 you can hear the bells at all outside the cow there is a ganapati temple inside the cow there is only the uh, statue of bhagavati this was consecrated in 2000 the year 2004 it is made of uh, wood now earlier it is a, it is 4 feet tall uh, the pose of this bhagavati is that uh, her left leg is folded and the right leg is on the ground she has got four hands and three eyes in her right upper hand she holds a sula idam in the right lower hand she holds a sword to the to the right side in this area inside the sanctum sanctorium is the original uh, deity made out of stone and the archanas are all performed on this deity uh, this the present one what you are able to see is the wooden one and on top of that uh, they will put the gold plated uh, face mask for the devi all the pujas are conducted by nambudris over here nambudri kerala puja style is totally different they do it more by actions uh, i am not allowed to take videos of the main deity that's why i am narrating it from outside uh, but i have shown you a picture i will show you a picture of the main deity here i am just turning the camera and uh, i'll show you the picture of the deity here 
सो दिस इज द पिक्चर ऑफ द डेटी पेरंगोट काओ भगवती और महाकाली I'll take you on a tour of the temple. You can approach it from two sides, either from the booking counter side or from a uh, circumambulatory route around the uh, uh, pond around the temple. It's uh, situated amongst the paddy fields. It's a wonderful sight to behold. So we'll take you on a tour of the temple from outside now. This is the office of the cow. and there's the vadipad counter or where you pay for various types of obsequies you can offer homam ganapati homam enter that counter there and pay and after that to the left side you have a people tree and the ganapati vigraha this is one of the entrances of the temple main entrance there you can see behind the dwajastambham the photo of the goddess bhagavati perungot kaavu bhagavati or mahakali bhadrakali we are entering the temple now as you enter the temple here is the dwajastambham and to the left there is this uh, stand for tula bar you can offer anything equivalent to your weight to the deity people offer sugar jaggery salt uh various other offerings to the goddess there is a well over here inside the temple in the outer perimeter to the right side is the kitchen where the prasadam is made the prasadam over here is called uh, kadu maduru payasam kadu means extremely sweet payasam so we have it will be our puja will conclude at 7:15 pm and we'll be given this kadu madura payasam extremely sweet payasam this is the place where this is the right to the right side here is the kitchen now we are going to enter the temple you can see the floral 
gardens as part of our off the door to the right is the entrance to the shrine ha ah, shorin sure. the nambudri is performing the puja behind closed doors he requires full concentration and therefore he has shut the door we will be rewarded with a grand spectacle with lamps this gentleman used to work as a manager and served here for the last 40 years he now offers voluntary service So here is the uh, photo picture of the deity here she is uh, Bhagavadi or Mahakali you can see that she has got four upper limbs in the right lower upper limb she is holding a sword in the right upper limb she is holding a trishul over there and on the left side left upper arm she is holding the severe head of a devil demon and in the left lower hand she is holding a container in which the blood from the severe head of the arakan is dripping into her right leg is on the floor here the left leg is folded up again you can see the soul facing you you can see her three third eye the third eye is closed the right the other two eyes are wide open perimeter you can see the statues on the posts adjacent to the wall of the sanctum
the gentleman who we saw before is a ardent devotee and always peeks in to have a darshan when the doors of the sanctum are opened we offered a nirmale puja and conducted archanas then we got the blessings sandalwood paste and kadu madhur paisam as the prasadam of the goddess